Hey guys, Adam here with 80 Proof Goods. Uh, this time around, we're making another money envelope out of an evergreen full grain pull-up leather. And if you're not familiar with pull-up leather, it's basically a waxed and oiled leather. So the oil sits under the wax. And when you crease the leather, when it moves, it leaves these really beautiful light streaks, which you can kind of see throughout the leather there where it goes from dark to really light green. And it's just a beautiful look. And this time around, we're making a money envelope, which can hold up to 100 plus bills, which I would have never personally thought would be a popular product, but I had a request for it one time a couple of years ago, and it very quickly became one of the highest ordered products on my website. And I think it's just a really useful thing, and it makes the little things in life just a little bit better, a little bit more stylish and enjoyable, and you can personalize it. So it's really great for, you know, small businesses holding some cash if you're a vendor at like a craft fair or a flea market or something like that. Or you can just stick it in your safe if you hold cash at hand at home. So anyway, back to it. Evergreen is a really beautiful color and we're going to pair it up with citrus stitching. This is a customer order. They designed it out of 15 different stitching colors. Citrus seems to be one of the most popular color combinations with evergreen in particular, just because it adds that really nice pop of contrast. And the citrus being kind of a yellowish orange, I think complements the evergreen, that dark green and light green streaks really, really well. So once it's all together, I use uh, antique brass snaps to keep it together. And the antique brass adds a little bit of a vintage look to it. Uh, and the leather itself being kind of a waxed and oiled pull-up leather already looks kind of rustic. So the antique brass, in my opinion, matches it really well. I'm using Aqualum 315 a water-based glue to get that thing pinched together, and then binder clips are always recommended to hold the thing in place. So if you're looking for ways to like glue things down and keep it together, check out some binder clips. They're really cheap. You can get them at the dollar store. I use a wing divider marked at an eighth of an inch from the edge to mark the stitching lines, and then use my Cobra Class 26 to stitch it shut, and there you see it with the citrus stitching. This pro burnishing machine from Tandy is an absolute game changer. You want to get those edges nice and flush before you can bevel them and finish them with whatever edge finisher you use. I personally like tokenol and canvas cloth. So instead of sanding things by hand using say like 100 grit and then going up to like 1000 grit, you can just use the pro burnishing machine. It makes life a whole lot easier and so much faster. And there you have it. That's a finished money envelope ready to hold 100 plus bills or checks or whatever you want to keep in there. And I think the color combo looks really good. So I want to hear from you guys. Drop a comment below letting me know what color you would have gone with for the stitching and of course if you want to see more leathercraft videos you want to subscribe and hit that like button it goes a long way to help build a small channel